Hey, what's good, y'all? I uh, just wanted to show you guys a video on how to push a power position um, or a point of advantage for your team as Zenyatta specifically. Um, so let's get into it. So here, as our team made our rollout, uh, I knew a hog was over here on the right-hand side. So I rolled out far left because um, I know he's looking for a hook on me. Um, and I see the boys are lined up left, so I'm just going to set up here. Just trying to make sure everyone's topped off. Do your, uh, if you see someone low and there's no targets, you can uh, make sure you guys are canceling your orbs and getting your heals out. Just pressuring. I know uh, as soon as I let that volley go, I know Tracer's out there. So I want to give her a uh, harmony orb as soon as I can. So I just try to get that volley off, get the damage in, and then heal her. So got that going. I know Hog's hooked, or I saw that he was hooked. I was going to focus him on right, but you seen as soon as he got hooked, I turned my attention to left. Now, this is where I see Soldier up here and Sig here. So I realize we have a, uh, an advantage that we can push on this left-hand side. And I know that I'm probably going to be a little bit safe because Sigma's here. Um, even if he doesn't help me get all the way up there, um, he's still a body I can get behind. And I know that the Soldier's committing there. You'll see in a second. So right here, sorry, as soon as I saw him like jump up top and commit that's when my mindset changed i said okay i'm gonna take this left spot with soldier that way we can rain down discords for how now the tracer was discorded so i know that he's tucked in here um i'm gonna pre-fire here because uh there's a chance that he blinks back out or re-peaks that and so i just want to prepare for that um just in case so i sent the volley on the the corner there all right so as soon as i miss that volley uh, i know he's going to come back at me because his the info he has is he, all of his blinks are up uh he knows discord's gone and he knows i just sent a five volley so i don't really have much to work with so knowing that i know he's going to press his advantage here so because i was able to get that discord off i get the free wall hack and Let's see what happens here. All right, so you see how he comes back in? Like I said, what I was laying out, he has all the advantages there. He knows I'm, I'm tucked into that corner. So what he's going to do here is since he's desperate, I know he's going to come for me. So he thinks I'm tucked into that corner. So what I want to do is counter aggress. So this is like a huge tip for all Zenyatta players, especially against Tracers, because a lot of times they're expecting you to turtle and hold the volley, and they're ready to dodge that. So what you can do to counteract that is counter aggression. So you want to peek back out when you know that he's going to be right around that corner so you can get your orbs off. And boom, got him. You just also want to make sure when you get your, your volley off, especially if you're really close, you want to spread them bitches out. Like you're not going to hit every single volley on the forehead most of the time. So if you can, especially against a tracer, if you can spread that volley out, um, you have a wider range of damage and you have a better chance of picking up the kill there. So I know me and Soldier took this left side, right? So we're just going to position here for them to come back in. I saw Tracer was fighting on her own. You default one of Discord, you know, any of your squishies that are uh, in the back line because that orb is going to allow Tracer to stay on this right hand side and poke for uh, longer than she normally would. What's your car? So now I know that they're about to come out, right? So I'm just getting an orb prepped. That guy didn't commit, so. And here I'm waiting for the, the commit, but they came out both sides first. So I get a little bit discombobulated here, but I basically want to uh, try and get a nice volley off on that first target out. Because if I do, that first target out is going to be low and we can clean him up. So I saw that he put up shield on left hand side. So I probably could have went for the headshot here, but I decided to flick real quick and hit this hog since I saw that he was the first target out. I immediately switch over to the Doomfist because um, I saw him come up left side. Uh, he slammed, so I got back rid of him. And this is where I made a mistake. <clears throat> I saw Sigma was low, so I wanted to heal him up, but I should have known there was a health pack there. I mean, I do know that there's a health pack there, but sometimes it happens. So that's not good. Missed a shot there. All right, now for here, let me rewind just a little bit. So everyone's pretty much topped off. The only one that's not is um, Baptiste. And the other guys have health to work with. This guy's got his healing field. The other two are tanks. So 
Um, and I know Bap our Baptiste is getting pressured, so I want to get heals on him as quick as possible, and then I can turn my head back up to the fight. Boom. Shit's on him. I saw the, uh, the Sigma ult coming in. I had heard the voice line, so I'm kind of ready for it, and thankfully he placed it bad, and I was able to just walk out real quick. I know that Soldier gets caught, so as soon as I turn, or as soon as I know that I'm out, I'm turning around for Soldier, because I know he's still up there with me. And the more damage they take while in the air, the lower chance they have when that slam comes in that they're going to live. So I immediately get the heals on him just in case there's a slight chance that he can live. I'm keeping my LOS because if I went right with my orb, um, lose the LOS and, uh, you know, then you can't heal him anymore. Thankfully, our BAP had a good... Um, immortality field. Um, another thing, so as soon as he gets the immortality filled up and I know he's good, I immediately switch to the right. And I know my volley's not fully out yet, right? So um, so here I want to see what I can get damage-wise because I know by the time I peek this corner, I can get some shots in. First target I see, Mercy. I know she's going to dash or Guardian Angel to the left, so that's why I lead to the left. Or well, I try to lead to the left. Almost one clipped her. Got the clean up here. And this is where we just go clean up. Shots onto the Lucio, pump shots into him. You're not gonna hit him every time. It is what it is. But um, yeah, it's just what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, that's how you push a power position as Zenyatta, force your advantage, um, and then when you have a disadvantage, how to regain that advantage um, on opposing enemy. Because with Zenyatta, uh, positioning is everything. Positioning and uptime. You need to make sure that your orbs and your uh, your harmony and your discord. Um, have a lot of uptime and you want to make sure you're pumping in shots even if you're not hitting every shot you're not going to um you know one big headshot on a discord to target that's massive and your team can clean that up so i hope that helps and uh thanks for watching